Hello and welcome back to No Frills Math with Ms. V as we look into what a unique triangle is. Okay, so seventh grade standard is what we're looking at. We're focusing on the part of noticing conditions. The conditions determine a unique triangle, more than one triangle, or no triangle. Uh, we won't really look into more than one triangle in this video. That will be another one. So do three sides always make a triangle? So we know that a triangle is a polygon with three sides and three angles. But if I give you any three sides, it doesn't always make a triangle. So how can we figure that out? So there's three steps that we can go through to check. The first is to put the numbers in order from least to greatest. This one is not necessary. And as you become more familiar with the steps, you won't need this one. Uh, step two, add the two small sides. Step three, if the sum is greater than the third side, we make a triangle. Now, what does this have to do with being unique? So we call a triangle unique if there's only one way to make that triangle. Um, this, remember, is a seventh grade standard. So there are many different um, theorems or rules that prove if a triangle is unique, but because this is tailored for seventh grade math or middle school age, age range, um, we're focusing on just three sides. Uh, uh, there will be future videos that look at other sides and other side and angle representations. But if you have three sides and they pass that check to make a triangle, then we do make a unique triangle. So do the following sides make a triangle? So remember our first step was to put our numbers in order from least to greatest. Now, this is not always necessary. You might easily be able to pick out what your smallest sides are. Now we're gonna add them together. Three plus five is eight. Is eight greater than seven? Yes, so this is a triangle. Okay, our next example, I'm gonna put them in order, so five, nine, and 15. We're going to add the 5 and the 9 and get 14. Is 14 greater than our longest side, 15? Well, that's not a true statement, so this is not a triangle. Okay, last one. So we have 20, 23, and 43. We're going to add 20 and 23 and get 43. So is 43 greater than 43? Okay, this can trip some people up. It has to be greater than. So 43 is not greater than 43. So this is not a triangle. So real quick, before we go into our last example, let's just suppose we had an equilateral triangle. So every side measured five. Okay, now we don't have smaller sides and longer sides. We just have three of the same number. Now, obviously, we do know they're all the same, so it's equilateral, but does it follow the same? Check. So I'm just going to pick any two sides to add. So five plus five is ten, and is ten greater than five? Well, yes, that's true. So yes, this is a triangle. So your equilateral triangles follow the same steps, even though you don't really need them. Okay, so let's look at one last example. Now this example kind of just delves into um, what could a third side be? And there's two ways to look at this. The first is, Five and nine represent my small sides. So I would add five and nine and get 14. So I know 14 needs to be greater than my third side. Okay, so if these are the small sides, that means I could have a nine. Five and nine are small. 
nine is the same. I could have 10, I could have 11. I could have anything up to 13 because 13 is less than 14. Or I could have decimals. I could have, you know, 12.6. Uh, 13.875. I could have a fraction. I could have um, 11 and one half. Okay, so any number that fulfills those requirements. My other option is that nine is my longest side. So I need some number to add to five that gives me something greater than nine. Okay, so then we can think about it. What do I need to add to five to equal nine? Well, that's four. Um, so I can't be four, so I have to be something greater. So I could be five, five plus five is 10. I could be uh, six, seven, eight, or nine because five plus nine is 14 and 14 is greater than nine. Once I switch to 10, nine is no longer my longest side. And again, like for the last one, my missing side could be any of these numbers with a decimal. So 5.8391247, if I'm feeling creative, I could have eight and two, two thirds, okay? So any of these options from either list makes a true statement. So I'm gonna say my third side, let's use the green, my third side is 12.694, why not? Well, that was another no frills math with Miss B. I'm glad all you mathematicians came by. I hope